In today's video, I want to try out some visual effects with Final Cut Pro. Oh, if you guys want to watch the last video related to Harry Potter, I put myself in a scene from Harry Potter. So if you guys want to check that out, check that out. I think I said everything I need to. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is film your scene. You want to film your scene without a subject and then film the scene with the subject and make sure to put your camera on a tripod because that makes this process a lot easier. Once you have filmed your footage, put it into your timeline and start chopping away. First, I wanna make a cut where I am not in the frame and the next cut I wanna make of me kind of jumping into the frame, making it appear like I kind of teleported in. Trim everything down and then once that's set and good, you'll want to add the effect on top of the footage. This effect is free on Footage Crate. You just need to make an account and the link will be in the description below. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is use the transform tool and position the effect covering up your subject. Once you've accomplished that, add an adjustment layer, add the distortion effect to that adjustment layer and select the droplet effect. Once you've done that, you'll want to keyframe that droplet effect to blend the effect and make it look a little bit more seamless. Basically, you'll want your droplet effect to start at zero, towards the middle, be the highest, and then at the end, back down to zero. Next, I'm adding sound effects. I went and used Woosh 15 that's available. Um, I think it sounds pretty good. I feel like it matches pretty well with the effect. Next, added some ambient noise to the background because my clip didn't really have any sound. I'm adding another adjustment layer so that I can add a LUT to my footage just to make it a little bit nicer looking. Um, I will also put the link to that LUT pack in the description below. All of the links you will need will be in the description below. Lastly, a pro tip is add the handheld effect to your footage so that it makes it look like it's not resting on a tripod. I think it looks a little bit better that way. And you're done. If you guys like this video, thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.